You are watching and listening to Pixels for People 2024. We are here all weekend long, running games real fast, all for charity, all for child's play. Thank you all so much for your donations so far, but let's get back to the games. Rayo TNJ is back for more with Mega Man Zero. Rayo, show us how it's done. Alrighty, thank you again, Super Jamoose. Uh, and hello again, everyone. Name is Rayo TNJ, like they said. Uh, now we're going to be playing the scary game. Uh... It's scary for a couple of reasons. One, I've only learned this recently, and I blame a mod for making me put this put this up on for this event. But it's a good way for me to showcase on myself that I can do it in the screen because the, the Zero series as well as all Mega Man, I'm going to be doing a certain challenge for my 40th birthday, which is next year, which is the it's the triple M of classic X and zero series in one setting, but I'm adding the Game Boy games on as a, as a special 40th. Uh, and I figured why not show this off? So let's get this all started. Um, this game is very, very different compared to any of the Mega Man you know, because it doesn't follow the similar format, but we'll get, we'll get to that as we go along. So we're just gonna start the run in three, two, one, go. So just like that, just like any good uh, recent Mega Man games, we're going to be having an intro stage. But we skipped the intro since I'd already beaten the game. Pretty much the last surviving humans of the of the planet um, have found the location of the former Z former hero Zero in in the X series. So, and as they were found X, they started getting attacked. So X is now just trying to escape with Seal in order to get out of here. So how X1 works, I'm sorry, X1, Zero One works is that you base everything on missions instead of um, enemy selections. So you do get to select what missions you want to do, but it's done a little differently. So already we're in the first boss, the Golem. And we're gonna jump into him to get rid of the, 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 um, the first section to get the cutscene. In order to get this to work, you have to start with either three or four health points getting into here, and you can just jump into them. But I'm gonna just play it safe. There we go. And all it takes is, and then once you get the cutscene, you get your good old saber back, and you kill the golem in one hit. Okay, mission complete. So how all missions work is that you must complete every mission. In the game, you can actually quit a mission and then just decide never to do it and you can continue and you can never go back to the mission. So here you must finish every mission, no matter what. Okay, so, and after everyone, we're gonna have some good old cutscenes. Uh, so we have a little bit of free time here. We're just gonna be talking. Just mashing the buttons and you to get through here. Also, make sure you hit the correct button when you get the uh, um, prompt to um, go to the next mission. So, also, in this game, you're going to get different weapons, but like any good Zero game, you're going to start with your Buster as well as your Saber. So, I'm going to be killing a bunch of enemies right off the bat here because I'm trying to get certain things called Elves, which you may or may not see on screens I might grab it too early right there that little circle thing is a cyber elf and depending on what you do they have certain properties on when you get them so you just let me get two right there what the first so I'm getting specific ones because there, there are a ton of them along the way so one of those oops, come on don't be dumb now so they have different properties. Uh, some of them will do health, some of them will do, like, protect you from, from death from a fall, some will protect you from spikes, this and that. It's really just dependent on which ones you grab. So right now, I'm just doing a little safety. I'm gonna be leveling up my weapon, because in this game, every time you use it and kill an enemy, it basically gains XP. And I'm doing it just until I'm at level four. And level four will be the one after you get after you get this this uh, the spin attack. So once I get the Z Saber has been upgraded, we just go. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? Nah, 
Now you know I'm gonna play it safe and just kill him. Okay. And like that, we're now up to the first boss. Uh, Aztec Falcon. I, I'm gonna butcher the names because I'm gonna forget half of them. So, I believe it's Aztec Falcon. And he even says it right there, right at the beginning. Since we do have in the English version, I, I can actually figure out what it is. So I need to set up. Okay, we got. Okay, we actually got some good hits there. Uh, I'm not good at doing the, the quick kill with him on this side. There we go. Just played it a little safe. I probably could have survived, but. So how the game works is that each of your attacks have certain amount of iframes on attacks. So I believe it's the first attack will only do, I, I mean, I don't know the actual numbers, but I believe you, doing the first attack gives less iframes than hitting him with the second attack. So if you do both at the same time, very quickly, it's a longer iframe, a longer iframe um, wait that you have to wait in order to um, get, get, the, get the ability to hit him again. So if you time it correctly, his iframes are a lot shorter making it a little simpler to kill him a lot quicker. Okay, so we go. Apparently, again, I can't do ladders. I just pressed the wrong retrieve data. You can really do this in any order. I'm just doing it in a specific order that I'm used to. So, hey, so the next level is we need to, um, so we now need to retrieve some old data. That was that was left where zero was originally found so we need to reverse back to the world here and actually i'm gonna play it safe and get a little one up here so i shouldn't really say one up it's actually a continue this game is very evil that you don't have lives you have continues and and once you run it continues you better hope you have a save point somewhere because you are gonna be in trouble so I'm actually going to... Uh, can you guys give me some health? Thank you. Eh, I'm fine with that. This bot, this is actually the hardest boss for me in the game. Because there is a quick kill where you have to use your spin attack, which, again, gives him less iframes after the attack. My timing on it is atrocious, so we're not going to try it. So he basically has a few attacks where he, one he has to spin and then he's gonna shoot bombs out. He'll have one where he'll just walk to you. Okay, lag. How about you don't act like a... Yes, he has one where he walks to you. He'll do his little arm attack and the easy way to get rid of that is to just shoot him with the... Ah, you stinker. Decided to spin at the last minute there. Okay, so he's actually giving us really good RNG. He's not giving me too many spins, but he's one attack away, and he's done. Beautiful. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Now, this is the one instance where after you have killed the boss, you're not done. You have everyone's favorite type of ending of any level, an escape sequence. So the place is starting to collapse, so we need to get out. Now, you think it'd be easy. You'd have to run back, but some of the doors have decided that they want to close. So you just get hit four times and then just keep going. There's a total of six doors you need to destroy. And as long as your saber is upgraded, it's a pretty simple uh, escape. So pass four. We got two more to go. Okay, let's get out of here. That was the final one. We're gonna just jump right to the end, and we're done there. So if you have anything to add now would be the great time because I have a small little delay after this mission where I just have to collect a brand new item. Hey, good timing here. Uh, shout outs to getting rid of Maha. That was the elephantine boss that has like a data core stuffed inside of his massive belly. Uh, I died to that boss many, many, many times. So thank you for making it look so easy. <laughs> Uh, I do have a donation coming in from Ninja Penguin 8, a $10 donation with no comments. Uh, thank you very, very much for your donation, Ninja Penguin. I appreciate that. Uh, I also see that you have set it towards an incentive. We have a couple of bid wars that are active during the marathon events. 
in this particular time, we're ascending towards the Donkey Kong Country 2, the Swag Strats Bid War. So it's just a simple question. Do you want swag or do you want no swag? I'm not going to sway you in either way, but I know I'd be going for swag myself. I want to see that happen. Uh, if you want to see that happen, please allocate your donation dollars. Uh, hex exclamation point D in the chat to check out how to donate, how to allocate, and how to support. Back to you, Radio. Yes. Give us all the swag. That's what we'd like to see. Yeah, so now we're on the, I think it's the, th the third mission so far. The th nope. Ah, come back here. I need I need to kill you. There it is. Good, good. We needed to get that Cyber Elf. We need to kill five of those, five of those enemies in order to get the Cyber Elf, which is another, um, I believe the Cyber Elf is one that's supposed, supposed to, it's either health or it's supposed to protect us from falls. I forget which one it is. There we go, okay. No, how dare you? But either way, we're now we have to find the shuttle. Basically, there is a a human who got stuck in the desert, and we just need to go grab him. Because he is in danger, because there's a lot of enemies around. There we go. So with Anubis, he's a pretty simple boss. He's gonna go either on the left side or the right side, and he's gonna either bring up some zombies or shoot out his staff. But luckily, there is an easy way to manipulate him. But every fourth hit with the... Every fourth hit, he's going to dive down and give us his little platform attack. It's every... Between two and four, um, four will come up. And the last one will always be far left and far right. For him, we want him to pop out on the right side first. So we want to go to the left side to make him come to the right side. And as you see there, all I'm doing is I'm gonna hit him once. He's gonna go back to the, he's gonna wrap, wrap to the other side. And then when he wraps to the other side, we're just gonna hit him three times with the, with the lance and he's down in about four rounds. Very, very simple boss fight. This boss used to always get me as a kid when I used to play this. And nowadays he's pretty much a chump. So, okay, we found the human. Now, if you all liked auto scrolls and you all like escape sequences, well, now we have the escort mission. So we need to bring him back to base, which isn't too bad. It's not that bad of a, of a thing to do. It just takes too much time because he cannot leave the screen. If he leaves the screen like I'm going to do here, he stops following you. So you have to make sure he's always on screen. Actually... I'm going to use my lance a little bit because I want this to be level 2 before we finish the stage. It's just a nice safety to make sure I already have it beforehand. I'm probably going to get it in the next stage anyway, but I'd just like to have it now and early. It's only going to cost a few seconds. No, let's grab that. The biggest danger that comes with this game, which I haven't mentioned, is that my health that you see right now is the most health you're going to see. Because this game it was not a fan of giving easy access to the HP upgrades. So it takes a lot of grinding in order to even get to that um, point to be able to get the health, health upgrades. So, you need to be very careful on, on all your, your movement and your attacks. Making sure you know where all the enemies are located along the way. And don't be afraid to get a couple health upgrades. Okay, once we're past that last one, we're pretty much golden. We're just a short ways away. We have no more moving um, sand pits. Just have a couple of birds and um, underground enemies to get. Just going to play things nice and safe. How dare you? Get out of here. Okay, you have one more of those enemies to attain to, and now it's just a walk to the end. So, yeah, we have nothing to worry about. Just make sure he's on screen so he doesn't stop. And once we see the doors, we are done. Mission complete. Alrighty, so we're gonna have another bit of a downtime here because I need to head out and go get my last 
upgrade, uh, not upgrade, but last item of the game. So we're gonna go see our buddy. There we go, we got the, the shield, which is the biggest, biggest item we're gonna need in the, in the, in this run. Because there is a small little thing with this game that makes it really fun for the fact that you get the ability to remove iframe from enemies. But we're not going to see it yet. We're not going to see it until the next stage. Actually, not even the next stage. We're not going to see it for at least two more stages. So now we need to... There's a... Oh. Of course, I, get, I saw that bullet and still got hit because I just apparently just wanted to get hit. So we're just going to be very careful here. A lot of enemies that can just drop us into... into ditches. So we're just going to play it safe. Here we go. First half, we have a small... First time, we're going to have a small little mini-boss. Our... Um, just going to play him safe. Wow, he didn't give me the... Uh, um, the, the, the actual... Um, his arm attack, which is nice. So he made it nice and easy. Now we're on the real part of the stage, is the train. Very small part. Just gonna go over a couple of parts of the train, but we have some super, basically super enemies that can do some, a good amount of damage that we want to be careful of. I was kind of hoping for some health, but We'll have to make do with what we have. So like I was saying how with iframes are very different with every a different attack. You're going to see it here. I'm going to use my spear to just corner attack him. And I'm going to be able to do it without having to worry about um, iframes. Okay, since my health is low, I do want to play things a little safe. Sure, just walk right into it. And there we go. Okay, just had to play safe because health is a little lower than I want it to be, but that's good. We're done there. So as you saw there, I was shooting the the the, the lance at an angle and I was getting being able to attack him constantly without having to wait. It's a small property that, that works with some attacks. I keep pressing the wrong keep getting the wrong um mission. Okay, we need to occupy factory. Which is the first time you sh Oh no, this is the first time you're gonna see one of the elves in action. Uh, let's this way, we're going to take a small little shortcut. We're going to go up top. Okay, just gonna, don't, want to take the, don't want to take the damage here, so we're just going to kill them safely. So we're going to take a little shortcut going up here. What's nice about up here, you get, you get a 1-up, as well as this elf is, is health, which is kind of nice later on, because I'd like to add a little extra safety to the run. Ladder, fall down. Okay, so here, I'm going to use this elf that I downloaded a while ago, and I'm just going to die. Nope. Just kidding. Yeah, so the elf protects you from that specific elf. You know what? I'm going to play him safe and wait for him to come back down. Because the last thing you do not want to fall there. If you fall, which I have done, you got to take the long way around. Because that elf is no longer around, and I didn't save. So that saves like two minutes just by doing that, using that elf. So it's very nice to have. Okay. So this one, all you want to do is just take your little saber attack and just keep pointing, shooting upwards. I'm playing it a little safe. In reason, this is where I wanted it to be level two. Uh... Okay, I didn't know what his damage was, so I wanted to play it safe, but there we go. So when you have it at two and you keep pressing attack, you're able to extend the attack. So you can usually hit him on the first attack, and then when it extends, you can hit it a second time. 
make mincemeat of that boss. Okay, so we're pretty much, I consider like the first third is, of the game is done. Now we got a small little side mission that we have to protect the base from an from a enemy that is attacking us. Uh, there's not much going on here. I'm not sure if you have anything from us, Super Jamus, but I'll br I'll let let bring it back to you for just a minute. No problem. I do not have any new donations right now, but while I have you all here, I have to mention that we have prizes. If I haven't mentioned that we have prizes, well, I'm going to say it now. We have prizes available. We have a good old mitt full of Steam cards this time around. We have $25, $50, and $100 donations. Uh, we also have some custom sketch commissions by Parlnock uh, for $10 and $15 respectively. A regular sketch versus a colored sketch. This art is awesome. I love it, especially if you're into like uh, tabletop RPGs. You're looking for some good character art. Check this out. Uh, exclamation point P. I put it into the Pixels for People prizes. Uh, remember that if you meet the minimum threshold at the end of the marathon, you'll be included into the raffles. So please consider donating to get some swag and support the kids. Excellent. Okay. Look at that. Perfect, perfect amount of time finishing just as I finished the the base attack. So now we are on to the second half. Um, I say second half because it's I just use that section as a way to split up the game. But now we are back in the desert. Um, so we're we're told that we need to find a hidden base that's hidden from us. It's very easy to find. Just find the first moving um, sand and just kill the enemy, and you find and you find the area. Um, what I find is that this game almost worked like DuckTales. The fact that it brings you to the same stage four times. Just like going to Transylvania. Okay, I, there we go. Just trying to get some health just because I took a little bit of um, too much damage there at the start. Okay, so oh, first time we're seeing the turtle enemy. We're just going to wait for it to attack. And, oh, wow, I, I got greedy there. But here, um, the stage, there are six, or I think it's six hostages that we need to free. And they are in specific cells that we need to open up. It makes it a bit challenging here because you have um, guards that will laser off the, that will laser off the doors if you are seen. And there are also some, um, uh, there are some cages in which have enemies and not someone you have to save, so do that. And also, I'm gonna get a little safety health just because I can. So ba you basically just want to not have that happen. Okay, so it's a good thing I show you. So as you can see, once the alarm goes off, the doors get lasered, but you just sit around for a, for a few seconds and then it just ends. So you are going to lose time if it happened, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Can you please move? Thank you. Oh. Yeah, and also I forgot that these super, super enemies don't disappear once the alarm goes off. They just stay on screen, so got to be a little careful on that. Oh, come on, I actually got it and I, and I missed the ladder because ladders stink. Nope. Oh, oh, and I also, before I forget, this is actually going to be the first instance where you're going to see what's called the shield glitch. So what I'm going to do and how it works is that the game, you're going to hold out the shield at first. Nope. Wait, did I go to the wrong one? I did, whoopsies, and that's what happens. Um, so you're gonna have the shield on either the main or the sub, and you'll have your sword on the other. And what is going to happen is that as long as I hold the shield out and then use the first attack of my sword, his iframes basically don't exist. Making this boss pretty much super free. 
So all we're going to do here is he's going to do his little spiel. We're going to sit here in the corner and hold our shield out. Wait from the jump. And just keep doing this. No iframes at all, and he is done. No problem at all. Okay, once he's down, you get the you get the ice chip pickup. Apparently I don't want it. Just jumped all the way around it. talking and now we're doing another guess where we're going again we're going back to the desert the, the level's pretty much the same except there's just there are just more of the the regular enemies not the sand enemies oops apparently i don't want to jump you know what let's get that because Okay, apparently I just want to hit everything right now, so let's just play that game. So again, n nothing really changes with the level. Oh, there's a one up there. I didn't know that. Can I get some health? I want to get some health. Ooh, big health. Thank you. Yeah, so the level's... level's the same. You gotta get to the same exact area you want you were before, but this time you're gonna fight a new boss who pretty much, I would almost call you Arch Nemesis, he really does not like you. And he can be the most dangerous enemy because it, his attacks can do severity damage, and he can do a charge up attack. But just like we did with um, the Blizzard, Fefnar is the same. You can just use your shield to do some extra, extra attacks. I play it safe and do two attacks and then get out of the way. Luckily, he has tells for his attacks, but you have to be quick on when to do it. If he opens up his claw, you know he's going to chase after you and try to grab you. Like that. And, yeah, once he's dead. Luckily, this time, you do not have to actually walk back. You just have to get the Cyber Elf, and you get transported right back. Which makes it a little nice. Now for the worst... I wouldn't say the worst level, but has the worst part of the game for me. Because you have some floating platforms that are easily... You're very easily able to just fall right off. Though it's funny, in one of my runs a couple days ago, I actually legit did fall. But learned that there was actually a safety... safety spot... that you can actually... jump to and be fine. I was like, what? I'm gonna play it safe and just... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get the health. I want to have full health for Harpunia. Yeah, so on the very first platform that's there, if you just fall on the left side, you will land on a another platform that brings you all the way across safely. It's slower, but you're not going to die. So Harpunia, again, is another one where you can just trick into just slashing. All you can do is just when he jumps in the air, you're just going to hit him jump behind him. That was close because I was missing some of the attacks, but whew, that was a close one, but we survived. Yeah, so you just hit him. He'll, he'll do his attack. You jump behind him and you do your, sh your little shield attack and he goes down fairly simply. Oops. Okay, now we have we only have two more missions left to go. This is a little different in terms of game because you get right here and immediately you're brought to a boss. You have to fight the boss before you do the stage. You gotta fight Phantom, who is a bit of a pain of a fight. So 
every time he does his little um, shadow attack, we're just going to shoot the one near us and just dash out of the way. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. He's one hit away. Oh, two hits away. Never mind. Okay. So he's a tough one, but you, as long as you can just get hit, um, figure out how to do the the shield attack, he's a fairly simple boss. Just like anything, just be careful. And now we have cute dogs who we're just going to jump over. So now that Phantom is down, now we're at the real part of the stage. So unlike last time when I was in the stage, where I was actually able to skip most of it, you can't do it this time. So the real stage of this is that Phantom laid eight bombs into this area, as you can see by up here. And you just need to find them. And how to get them, you just slice them and then grab them. Like, nothing too crazy. But this time around, we have to do the auto-scroller. Because there are a few um, bombs that we have to get in this area. One will be right here. And now for the scariest bomb, in my opinion. And it's not really the bomb, it's this enemy right here. Also, it's very hard to see the the um, the moving platforms because the screen doesn't scroll far enough down. Far enough down. Okay, there it is. Okay, once you get that last bomb, you're pretty much golden because you're gonna get the ladder and you're at the top section. So we just have to get two more bombs along the way. Watch out for these lasers. Take at least one damage boost. And then we're gonna get this bomb, and the stage ends because we already. Like I said, the game is in repeat. Instead of doing the boss at the end, you do it at the beginning. So the factory is now safe. Now we're on to the final mission, or fi final primary mission of the game. Where, guess what? We're back in the desert. So for the fourth time. But this time is going to be like the second time where we have to find the hidden base. So same thing, just fall down. But now things are a little different. Global warming has hit this underground area. Now there's no more ice. The ice has melted. Oh, let's uh, play it safe. Now there is a skip you can do here that skips this section here. But I haven't been able to get the timing down for it, so we're not going to do it. Also, I want to get one small safety here. So I'm going to fall down here and get that elf. That elf gives you a full health refill as long as it's downloaded and in your system, which will be very helpful and useful uh, going into the final area. Okay, so we're back into the area where we had to save all of the hostages, but it's a much shorter area. We just have to go one to one specific area. And it's going to be where this door was that we couldn't get into earlier. And all you have to do is destroy the six Megment X2 globes. We're going to play it and get those two one-ups, or I should say, continues. What? Okay, that's fine. Okay, health is looking okay. 
So after we kill, defeat all, after we just destroy all six, we're just going to go back here. We're just going to get a warning of something happening, and we're going to fight pretty much the last boss of, oh, sorry, second to last boss of the main missions, Leviathan. A very simple boss, as long as you know where to go. Uh, my health is a little low, so I'm going to play it safe. So as long as you stay on this right corner, she can she can't touch the wall. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. I was either one or I might have survived one more hit, but I wasn't sure. I can't remember if they do three or four damage, but not dying is the most important thing. So just like that, all the main missions are done. Now we just have one little side mission where we have basically Neo Arcadia has decided to attack us once again, but they have actually infiltrated and we now need to do Basically, just save everyone, but you only have to do two specific things in order to finish the stage. And if you have if you have anything to, uh, to mention, Super Jamoose, now would be a good time because I've got about a minute before I get to the, the boss. I certainly do. We do have one donation that has come in here. We have a $50 donation coming in from Anonymous with no comments. So an Anonymous Denonymous donation, <laughs> if you will. Every dollar is worth it. Every dollar helps out Child's Play. Uh, as a reminder on this one, you can check out childsplaycharity.org to see what they're all about. But we are raising funds for kids in hospitals. We are giving uh, uh, the, uh, the funding that they need to provide toys, games, uh, therapy programs for kids in hospitals to make those stays a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more fun. Uh, because gaming is fun, and we want to give that to the kids that are in need of it most. So thank you once again for that anonymous donation. Please keep coming in. We are at $660 raised, and we're only not even three hours into the marathon. That's pretty good. I'd like to see that number go higher, though, please. So back to you, Radio. Awesome. And now, apparently, I'm still failing this boss. Yeah, so... This boss, for some reason, always causes me issues. Because I'm always m messing up the timing. Ah, uh, because he's not a hard boss, but you just have, you can't do the normal shield attack. You have to time your shots a little slower than usual in order to get him basically stuck in a loop. But you also need to get the correct RNG. Yeah, I'm, I'm failing this fight big. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. Oh, maybe I played things safe. There we go. He used to be an easy boss for some reason. I'm, I just got the yips when fighting him now, but I guess we just, as long as we just play it safe and be careful as attack, we'll be fine. But anywho, now that he is done, we are done with the main missions. Now we are on to basically the Wily slash Sigma stages, which will be the Neo Arcadia. So we're gonna have three specific stages. The first one being Neo, the Neo Shrine. Also, spoiler hint, that little flash thing that's been around that's been helping us. Uh, that's, yeah, that's X. Okay. So, the big thing here is that we actually have to tr transfer ourselves to Nia Arcadia, but we're going to do a couple of small things first. Uh, full cure. And there we go. Okay, perfect. Now we can do the shrine. We need at least the that green elf that I got, which allows us to um, again sit uh, save from a hit. 
That'll be very useful very shortly. I also grabbed two nurse um, elves, the red elves. Those two will, if you read them, basically one will give us full health when needed. Another one will give us eight bits of health when we, when we use them. So just bringing some safety. So the shrine itself is basically just a small little climb where we are going to have to fight three bosses. The first being a duo. There is a quick way. Nah, I was ready on that one. So there's a quick kill where you can use your down attack in order to kill them a lot quicker. But I'm not good with it, so we're just going to do the plain old simple kill. So now that he's down, uh, my health is about halfway. I'm pretty okay with health, but I would like some actual health. Oh, there it is. I saw that and still decided to just get in the way of it. Okay, so next one is basically a four-armed four creature with three swords. We're going to hope for one attack, one specific attack. And of course, he gave it to me immediately, and then I didn't get ready for it. Okay, so we're going to play it slow, because just because health is halfway... Okay, perfect. So he basically has two attacks. The one where he shoots the three swords at you and then that spinning attack. They're very easy to counter, so it's not too big of a deal. And the good thing is, if your health is low, there's a health refill right there. So not the worst in the world. Before I do anything, remember to use the, the elf and die. Because this just saves us from having to do this first climbing part. That's the harder one. And then we're already done with the climbing. Okay, now on to the, thir uh, the third uh, fight. This is the main boss of the game. Oh, sorry, game of the stage. Um, again, you're going to use the shield glitch to make it easier to get attacks out. played it safe. I didn't want to get too low on health and make a stupid attack, so. Oh, you know, I agree, Luna. When I, when I first, the only, I had this, a I had this game as a kid and could never be X. It wasn't until I did the series run of this and used the save assist that made this game a little more possible. This, the run itself is super scary because it doesn't take much because it's very hard to actually um, get health upgrades in the first one. Okay, so we are done with the Neo Shrine. Now we are on to the Neo Tower, which I guess you can say it's we're just the second ladder of of the events because first we had the D X8 D Make Tower, now we have the Zero One Tower. Yeah, um, the. X in this game is a super scary fight. Okay, so we're at the end of the climb. Well, end of this part of the climb. Actually, I'm going to get that. Now we're at the second part where we have to climb ourselves. So I got that... Um, That um, fairy, I believe that fairy is a full-on one-up. Okay, 
part two of the climb is done. Now we have the electric fields. Okay, that's done. Now, will this last enemy be nice and give us health? Oh, beautiful. We have full health for what might be the worst boss in the game for me. Everyone's favorite boss throughout the series, the Rainbow Devil. Like Yellow Devil. One, two. We get another Devil. I play him safe. Again, you can do the shield glitch. He can be a bit of a pain to do it on, but... Ooh, and this boss is the big reason why I bring the elves. Wow, I had to use both of them. Okay, that's fine. And he's dead. So the good thing is when he splits up like that, you he takes damage no matter what. No matter how he, what form he's in, he'll always take damage as long as you hit his head. Oh, keep forgetting. And, and here you have to actually grab the Cyber Elves. Okay, there we go. We are now on to the final stage, Neo Ar the actual Neo Arcadia. Oh, actually, before I go... Since this is the final stage, is our last chance to do this. And get all of these small ones. Just have them. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. So all of those elves, those health elves, are only going to be used used for X. It's just backups. And just like any good Mega Man game, you have the refights. So there are going to be eight refights in, in total, two groups of four. So first we're going to fight our little elephant buddy. First he's probably going to do the... Yeah, that attack. Oh, before I forget, I always forget to do that. There we go. Yeah, so I tried... Since I'm not good at the quick kill, I like I need to get the buster out so I can stop him from doing his E-Honda 100 hands attack. So get some health here. Now we're going to... The bottom left here, where we're going to fight... Mr. An Antonion again. Oh, uh, let's make sure we put shield back in. We want to be able to do the quick... Same thing, just keep on. Just do the shield attack and he goes down fairly quickly. Okay, let's get fire. So we're doing this order so the last two bosses will be here because they both need, require fire. Oh, something like Um. We have Blizzak again, same thing, just get to the corner. Apparently he doesn't want to give me... There we go. He didn't want to give me the good pattern. It's like, what the heck, man? Play nice. Play, asshole. I'm on PB pace. Okay, we have um, Anubis again. I... Fairly simple second phase. Same. We're just going to do the same thing here. Except instead of using the um, the staff, we're just going to use our sword. 
which does much more damage when it's charged. Okay. So this time, instead of taking four rounds, he should, he should go down three. There we go. Four rounds. Three rounds, I mean. Alrighty, that is the end of part one. Now we have a small little interlude before we get to the second round of enemies. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. So you try to do, you try to get hit before you make the jump, so you have the iframes to get past that that wall enemy. So that's a little shortcut that just bypasses this whole second half. And now we are on to the second set of refights, which are the much harder refights. Because Leviathan does not have the ability to have that little side section. Not as good as it could have been, but hey, I still save time somehow. It's good enough for me. Okay, now it's time for the trouble two. Like he's on a hard fight, but I tend to just mess up this second fight of Fefnir all the time. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, now for Phantom 2. Phantom 2, I mean, he's just, all these fights are the same, it's just... Oh, that was interesting. Wow, his RNG is terrible. I might actually die. Yeah, he kept doing the dash. That's fine. Good thing about game overs, at least here, one, I have enough of them, and two, you go right back to these fights. So it's not that big of a time loss other than just having to do the fight over again. Phantom, when he dies, he, he actually does a final attack to try to kill you, which usually doesn't work out too well for them. All right, time for the final refight. Okay, we have full health, and it's going to be our good buddy Harpunia. Again, same strategy. We're going to let him jump to the left side. And done. There we go. Good enough. Alrighty, we are now done with the refights, and we are getting to the scary fight. Scariest fight of them all. Everyone who's ever played this game knows this fight all too well as being a pain in the butt. Look at that nice health. 
Ooh, they played nice. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Time for X. Or should I say Copy X, the final fight. So Copy X has the ability to transform himself automatically like we can to fire, ice, or lightning. But none of them are super dangerous. And we're going to try to hope to, to lock him into attack. It's, a, it's very tough to do. But that's why we brought the elves for safety health in case he does hit us. Dang it. Oh, what? How did that not hit him? There we go. Okay. Phase one done. Now, if I die at phase two, I have to do phase one again. And phase two has three attacks. They pretty much have easy tells, but the hardest part is you could, just like Sigma X3, you can only hit his head. So are you ready for round two? But he always does the first, the same attack first, so we can at least get ready for that. You know what? Just for safety, let's get our health up. And he's done. That's that's time. Let's go. 5521. That is a P that's that is an actual PB for me. By a full minute. Let's go. So with now with X done. He is going to do his final attack of trying to destroy Zero. And Zero goes, yeah, peace, bye-bye. I'm out of here. And there we go. We have saved the human race yet again. Or the Reploids. Not the Reploids. The, um, yeah, Reploids once again. But there we go. See, and, and there's the big surprise at the end that, that your helper has been the actual um, X the entire time. And he goes, okay, I'm good. You're good. You can save the world. I'm kind of out. Peace out. So, and now that he's safe, he decides I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to protect the human race. So he decides to take on all the enemies by himself. And there we go. So that's I'm really happy. I got a minute PB in this game. My biggest time save there was actually the um, oh what's his name? Human machine, the monkey. In my last PB, I died five times to him. That's how bad it went. But there we go. I'm happy. I had. A, I was able to have a show off a good run for a game I just learned. Um, so I want to. Now that we're finished, I'll just say my goodbyes because I have. I actually have to get to work soon. But I want to thank Carter for having this event um, and uh, accepting my runs. I want to thank Ahmad for peer pressuring me into doing this. And I want to thank everyone who stopped by to watch and see me run these games. And I want to wish good luck to everyone else this weekend running. And please donate if you can. All right. Thank you, Rate Yo. Hey, big shout outs to our first two runners, Zero and Rate Yo, for starting us off on our big, big Friday morning. Rate Yo picking up that massive PB. Congratulations. Folks, if you're worried that you've missed out on some of the Mega Man goodness, uh, stick around. We've got you covered. Our very first speedrun race is coming up right after this. Don't go away. <laughs>